Welcome back to Chemistry Made Easy with Bright Edo. In today's video lesson, I'll be teaching on the calculations in electrolysis, whereby I'll be giving us different formulas that will be helpful to solve different practice problems. Now, let's quickly go over to the first formula to be noted. Now, from the first law of electrolysis, which simply says mass directly proportional to quantity of electricity. Mass directly proportional to quantity of electricity, which is the Q. Now, Q is given with a formula which is IT. Q is simply IT. And what is I? Current. What is T? Time. The current should be in amperes, whereby the time should be in seconds. Now, mass bringing a constant becomes kq, whereby the mass becomes now. The k should be changed to a constant z or e. It becomes mass equals z q whereby Q is IT. So basically, mass becomes ZIT. Now, this formula should be noted when solving problems on electrolysis. Now, M here signifies mass. Z signifies electrochemical equivalent. Z signifies electrochemical equivalent. Whereby the I signifies current, okay? The I signifies current in amperes. And T signifies time in seconds. Time in seconds. Now, this formula written here is a very important formula to be noted in solving problems on electrolysis. Now, there's another formula that must be noted, which is mass is equal to the molar mass, or you say the atomic mass, times I, which we've seen already to be current, times T, which is time, over QF, over QF. Now, the question you ask yourself, what is Q and what is F? Q is the charge of the element, okay? Q is the charge of the element. Q is the charge of element, whereby um, the F here is Faraday's constant, okay? F is called Faraday's constant, Faraday's constant. And Faraday's constant is 96500 coulombs. Now, what do I mean by charge of element? For example, the, the, the element given in the question can be aluminum. So what will be the charge? What will be Q for aluminum? Now, this is aluminum. Ionically, it's written as Al3+. So basically, the charge becomes Q, and it is 3. For example, we are given elements like silver, Ag. The charge here, silver is written ionically to be Ag+. So basically, it, the Q here becomes 1, because it's just plus 1. For example, we are given elements like gold, AU. Gold exists in two states. It can be gold 1 or also can be gold 3. So the Q varies for gold. So dependent on how the question comes, you apply the Q value for gold. For example, we are given elements like copper, Cu2+. The Q basically here becomes 2. Okay, you are giving elements like zinc, 2 plus, Q basically becomes 2. You are giving elements like mercury, HG, okay, 2 plus, Q becomes 2. So basically, this is another formula that must be noted when solving problems on electrolysis. So this is formula 2. Now, there will be a derivation. From this equation, from that equation, we have something like this. 
mass is equal to the molar mass mo times now we already know that it basically is q okay it is q so we can just put q in place of it over qm so basically what's going to happen here is this we'll make q which is quantity of electricity subject of formula making it subject of formula we get mass qf over molar mass mass qf over molar mass will make q subject now it should be noted that mass over molar mass is basically n and n is number of mole okay mass over molar mass is basically n and n is number of mole so basically here will be changed to n so basically q becomes n qf which is quantity of electricity becomes n qf so this is another derivation that must be noted in solving problems on electrolysis now let's quickly move over to practice problems on these formulas now let's quickly move over to the first question now before we solve this question recall we've derived three formulas and these are the formulas but how do we know the formula to use we need to bring out the parameters in this question to know the formula to be best used now they said what current first thing first we already know the symbol for current to be i okay what current will deposit 3.25 grams of zinc now this talks about mass and it is 3.25 grams of zinc in two hours two hours talks about time two hours but recall the time should be in seconds now they mention zinc ionically zinc is written as zn2 plus so basically what will be the q for zinc two okay now they are asking us to get i so with these three formulas which is best to be used equation two is best because this as i though this one as i but they did not give us the electrochemical equivalent so we can't solve it but basically this one has every parameters needed in the equation now we'll bring equation two down and make i subject of formula so making i subject of formula we get mass times qf over molar mass times c okay now the time should be changed to seconds so two hours to seconds basically become you times by 60 minutes um and times by 60 seconds so when we get press our calculator we get 7200 seconds okay now the molar mass basically is 65 grams per mole so basically we put it into the formula so uh we get mass to be 3.25 times the q already is 2 times faraday's constant which is a constant and we set the constant faraday's constant is 96500 coulombs so times 96500 coulombs over the molar mass which is 65 times the time which is 7200 seconds so basically the current becomes one press calculator becomes 1.34 1.34 ampere we call the sin for current is in ampere so you can see this is the first question to be noted because we'll be given or tested in exams condition on different practice problems so these three formulas are very very important to be noted now let's quickly move over to the second question now the second question says what quantity of electricity will liberate 0 0.125 moles of copper during electrolysis 
now the question is asking what quantity so looking at these three formulas which one has quantity which of them has quantity you can see all of them has quantity but the best formula to be used is equation three because you can see here it has number of moles and number of moles is given here so we use equation three okay so basically we have u is equal to nqf whereby the um, n is given to be 0 0.125 moles and the q you know they said copper ionically is written as cu2 plus o is basically become two and for this constant is nine six five hundred coulombs so basically q becomes two which is the sorry becomes zero point one two five okay number of moles zero point one two five times the q and q for copper is two which is the charge of the element okay times two times nine six five hundred coulombs so basically one of the heater calculator will get twenty four thousand one two five coulombs so basically this is the quantity of electricity that will liberate 0 0.125 moles of copper during electrolysis i believe now you now understand the concept on how to solve practice problems on electrolysis do well to watch my first video i made on solving problems on electrochemical equivalence okay and relating it to relative atomic mass okay and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also share to your friends to help one another thanks for watching